Hi, I'm Laura Hosman, co-founder and co-director of Solar Spell, or Solar Powered Educational Learning Library. I'm also faculty at Arizona State University. In this brief video, we'll demonstrate how the Solar Spell Digital Library works. The Solar Spell has a 10 watt solar panel made out of plastic, not glass, to make it more rugged. On the other side is a see-through, waterproof plastic case that holds all of the components. None of the components have any moving parts to further ruggedize the system. You can see the wires coming off of the solar panel. We plug those into a voltage regulator so that there are no spikes of power coming off of the solar panel. And the voltage regulator allows us to plug this cord directly into a battery. This battery both stores the power off of the solar panel and gives power to this microcomputer that's called a Raspberry Pi. The entire contents of the library are stored on this micro SD card, and there's some code on this micro SD card that tells the Raspberry Pi to start offering up an offline localized Wi-Fi hotspot. Any Wi-Fi enabled device like a smartphone, tablet, or laptop can now connect right to our library. So let's connect. To connect to the Solar Spell Digital Library's website, we'll go to Settings, and look for a Wi-Fi signal called Spell. We'll connect to the Spell Wi-Fi signal, and here we're connected, and then open up our favorite web browser, whether Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and type in 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. and you're ready to surf. We have content under creative arts, environment, health and safety, language arts, local topics, math, science, and reference tools. The Solar Spell Digital Library's content is entirely open access. Anything can be downloaded and shared freely. The file formats on the library include HTML, PDF files, and MP4 videos so that any phone anywhere can open them. Moreover, the library's content is localized for every community that we go to.